is a scrolling text. It says, welcome to RPG. Notice that the border is rotating. These emojis represent an emoji wearing a face mask, hand sanitizer, and a vaccine. An emoji smiling. Hello and welcome to RPG Raspberry Pi Girls channel. Today we will be showing you how to control of LED matrix using our Raspberry Pi. This is a 16 by 16 WS. 2812B LED panel. Each panel has a 5 volt ground data in and a 5 volt ground and data out. We'll, we will connect our 5 volt and ground with our power, our data in with our Raspberry Pi. This is our 5 volt and 18 amps power switch. If you want to know how we connected these wires, then you can watch our other LED video. We will connect the power and the LED matrix using the three pin connectors. We will connect data out with the data in by pushing down and connecting them. If you want to use multiple LED panels, you, you, can, you can them by connecting them with the three pin connectors. Now we will connect our jumper wires to GPIO 18 and ground. Next, we will install CircuitPython library on the Raspberry Pi and show you how to scroll the text and display images on the Python code. So I am going to burn an image onto my micro SD card by selecting Raspberry Pi OS Lite 32-bit. We're using OS Lite because our Raspberry Pi Zero 2 only has 512 megabytes, and if we choose the OS Lite, it will run faster. And then I'm going to select my micro SD card, and then if you are using version 1.7.1, you will be, be able to access this gear, which will make you be able to enable SSH and your Wi-Fi. And now I will press right. So now we are going to upgrade the Raspberry Pi OS to the latest version. The Raspberry Pi OS has a lot of packages, so this command will check to see if the all the packages are in its latest version and update the list. This command will up will upgrade Raspberry Pi OS to its latest version. We have done this a couple of minutes ago, so that way it will not take too long. But it normally takes ten minutes. Pillow is a Python imaging library in which adds support for opening, manipulating, and saving images. PIP is a package manager.
if a package is calling the library and you only install the package, it won't work without the library. So if you install Setup Tools and you install that package, it will automatically install the library for you. CD is just going into a different directory. This is just installing Adafruit Python Shell Library. This will this will download the Blinka script. Next. This will execute the Blinka script. It will tell you to reboot, so type Y. So now we are going to install the three libraries. This will install Adafruit CircuitPython frame buff library. And the next one will install Adafruit CircuitPython pixel frame buff. And then the next command will will install the Adafruit Circuit Python NeoPixel library. So go to our GitHub account and go to the LED Matrix repository, and then click the font link and go to this link and download the font and then go to the images and then download it and unzip it and you'll have three images and then go to the LED matrix Python and copy the Python code so this so this command will upload the photos from our computer to the Raspberry Pi so we're just going to do this with all of the images. We're also going to do it with the font. And then now we're going to log back in. Now we're going to do sudo nano led underscore met metrics.py to go inside of here. And then and then we're going to use that code that we copied 
and we're going to paste it in here. And then control O and control X. And then we're going to run it by typing sudo python3 led matrix.py. And then if it's just blanking, that means it's working. So the Adafruit Framebook Library requires your image to be in RGB format. If you want to display your image on the LED matrix, you need to make sure your image meets the requirements. To do so, I will show you how to use Python CS to edit your image. So first, look online for like these emoji pictures, and then click on the zoom tool and zoom in on the emoji you picked. I'm going to choose this smiley face. And click on this rectangular marquee tool and select your emoji. And then click this move tool and move it to a 16 by 16. And then do control T and make sure it fix, fits the 16 by 16 area. And then click the zoom tool again, and when you zoom in, you see that you have a smiley face or your emoji. And then click image and then mode, and then make sure these are this is RGB color. And then when you're done, cl click the background and press this trash can over here, and press yes. And then you can press file and press save as and then name it like like emoji then click this drop down and choose png and then save and press ok thank you for watching and if you have any questions or comments you can ask down below